Hi, my project title is G's World. My name is Guillermo Lopez and I'm currently living in Madrid, Spain. The project I decided to create is a small RPG top-down style video game. The story goes around G's World where you, a noble knight, help a medieval village fight against the night creatures that arise in the world. At the beginning, it's almost impossible to defeat the beast alone. However, the village's merchant sends you around the map to gather specific ingredients that combine to make a magic potion that will help you confront the beast with a chance of making it out alive. Pressing the escape key will open this menu that provides you with the basic options. The mechanics of the game circle around the time factor. I am referring to the clock over here, and more specifically how it influences the experience of the game depending on the time of the day. Cycling through the 24 hours, this world is not an exception to the grasp of time. The fact that the creature roams freely only at night and that certain items can only be found in the light or the dark makes the way you approach your survival crucial. As a result, I have implemented potions that transform the time to day or night. Their use is essential not only to find the items but also to escape some sticky situations. The monster in the game was definitely one of the most fun parts to code and the decision to make him go through objects makes the pathfinder algorithm almost too easy. But I encountered myself adding many details and mechanics to the game and delaying the deadline a lot to finish the project. So I tried to keep it simple since collisions and overlaying was one of the hardest things to tackle without an actual game engine to facilitate the work. Still, I added different items you can pick up and cool animations and sounds for each interaction. An example is this water fountain that decreases the volume the further away you get from it until you don't hear anything at all. The artistic side of the game consists of a compilation of assets made by great artists in each that aisle, which I can't thank enough for allowing me and everyone else to use. I have included a subdomain called Credit, where I mention their contributions and show where to find more of their content. Putting it together was no easy task, since I had to experiment with several styles to figure out what combined. Behind the hood is just plain JavaScript, which I have explored a lot over the last month and spent hours trying new APIs, googling and debugging. Jinja was definitely useful to create templates and keep consistency on the web application. The back end of the project works with Python, more specifically using Flask to manage the logic behind all navigation in the website and SQLite 3 for creating my databases and saving all the user's progress once they click the save button and asynchronously downloading their data once they log back in or die in the game. I will include a link on the description in case you want to try it out. Thanks for watching. This was CS15.